Hey, shalom. <coughs> shalom. <coughs> First and foremost, like to begin this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham, Racha Kodash, <coughs> and double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations goes out to the elect. And this year is the brother Amma one from the Great Millstone Camp in Trinidad coming back to do another lesson through the Holy Spirit and power of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Alright. So I'll read this precept here real quick. This is Book of Malachi 4 and 1. Alright, because this is the day. You see what it's saying here, anything? Final admonition. <laughs> But this is the day that this is just like how Esau say this is the day that you look for let me get out of here real quick Lamentations 2 and 15 2 and 16 right it says Lamentations chapter 2 verse 16 it says all thine enemies have opened their mouth against thee they hiss and gnash the teeth they say we have swallowed her up certainly this is the day that we looked for we have found we have seen it see like how we saw say certainly this is the day that we looked for we have found we have seen it this is the day that we looking for in the book of malachi chapter 4 and 1 it says for behold the day cometh that shall burn as an oven that is the day that we looking for and when this day happen we will say the same thing certainly this is the day that we looked for we have found, we have seen it. Alright? And all the proud. And who is the proud? The proud going back to who? The most proud. The scripture call him the most proud. The scriptures call him the most proud. I need a might. And all the proud. Yeah, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, that saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. Alright? Because why? When you go back into the book of Job, the 18th chapter, and the 16th verse says, His root shall be dried up beneath, and above shall his branch be cut off. And this dealing with the Edomites. Alright. Now what are symbolizing? When your roots dry up beneath and your branches cut off, you cannot bring forth fruit. Or you could bring forth fruit. That is like when you have a shy curse to fig tree. Alright? Nothing could come out from that. You done. You're done. And that is what going on with you either, might you go and be done. Matter of fact, that way, he saw me, he saw me in wasted he. Right? Matter of fact, let me look for the word he saw. Aisha. Aisha. Done. Finish. Aisha Shua. Very blue letter out there, the real deal sometimes. I shall hear it. <laughs> yeah, you don't mean that. To do, fashion, accomplish, make. To do work, to make. To observe, to appoint, to spend, to be done, to be. You see? She had to be done. He is done. But it's really I Shashua, right? Which means wasted he. But the, the blue letter don't hear that because you don't go in the Hebrew, original Hebrew to, to see it. Blue letter does hide that. Because when I say wasted he, that going into what? That going into mainly pigment too. The pigmentation, the skin now. That he read now. But also, I shall means done. 
and ISO done finish all right he's finished so Job 20 Job 18 and 70 16 it says his root shall be dried up beneath and above shall his branch be cut off his remembrance shall perish from the earth and he shall have no name in the street see what we're going on go on is you're going to lose everything when when that going to happen that going to happen when this scripture fulfill malachi 4 and 1 it says for behold the day uh, i don't read that already right i read yes salak i read it out but for behold the day cometh that shall burn as an oven that is when that scripture that we just read there will be fulfilled right the day when the day come that burning as an oven that is when that scripture go and be fulfilled and that not very far away again from happening that right there that you best believe it that right there that right there it near the day of the lord is near upon all the heathen the scriptures tell you that Upon all the heathen, and you the mighty, you are heathens. You are heathens. You try to make Israelites feel they are heathens, but we are not no heathens. We are not no heathens. We is we is the chosen seed of the heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. But you Edomites, you all are heathens. Right? You all are heathens, and. The Lord and God deliver no heathen into his kingdom. Absolutely zero heathens is going to be making it. The only people making it is the elect. The Israelites. And the elect of the Israel. And who is the elect of the Israel? The elect of the Israel is beginning with the one on John 44,000. Alright? That is the elect of the Israel. That is the only people making it. And then you have the rest of the multitude. Are the, which would be the, the rest of the one too. Other than that, you either might say fucking making it. So forget that. You hide the fact that you who you is for, for, for generations upon generations. You hide in the fact who you is. Who you is is who you is, bro. You gotta hide. You gotta hide. Yeah, is your Edomite. And that is who he is. You Edomites, you're going and feel the wrath of the Lord. Because all of us know that you're going to come with this, with the palisade and the, um, the palisade and the, 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 the haragma. All right? The palisade and the charagma. We all know you're going to come with that to, to, to put it in the Lord's people. But you ain't going to win. Alright? You ain't going to win. Let me see if this is a precept. Come on, my head. Yeah, look at right here. Full Samuel 2 and 9. I was looking for since on the works earlier. Yeah. Full Samuel chapter 2 and 9. It says he will keep the feet of his saints. You see? Who going to keep the feet of the other saints? Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh, Shai. Meaning this, their feet wouldn't slip. The feet, as we was going into the scriptures on on the works, the feet, the feet are the elect going to be made fast as pillars. Uh, read that precept, William. Um, um, Second Ezra chapter two and verse fifteen. It says, "Mother, embrace thy children." Who's that mother? That mother is Galatians four and twenty six. 
to Jerusalem, which is above and is free, which is the mother of us all. It says, Mother, embrace thy children and bring them up with gladness. Make their feet as fast as a pillar so they ain't go slip. Right? For I, the Lord, have chosen thee, saith Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. And it says what? Second Samuel 2 and 9. It says, He will keep the feet of his saints. Right? The Lord will keep their feet. So the feet will slide in due time as, as the wicked feet go and slide in due time. Alright? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so you know that it said them in slippery places. Now that I'm talking about. So let me go back in Psalm 73. Psalm 73 and verse 17. It says, Until I went into the sanctuary of the Most, I then understood I their end. Surely thou didst set them in slippery places, thou castest them down into destruction. When you're in a slippery place, you can't stand straight. Your feet cannot be made as pillars. So the Lord make the elect men's feet as pillars. Right? To Samuel 2 and 9, it says, He will keep the feet of his saints, and the wicked shall be silent in darkness. For by strength shall no man prevail. By strength. What strength is that? Your own strength. Your own strength have no power. Alright? No power. You have no power on your own. Your power had to come from the Lord. The scriptures tell you in the book of Zechariah, 4 chapter and the 6 verse. says, Then answered, Then he answered and spake unto me, saying, This is the word of Yahweh, Ba'asham Yahweh Shai unto Zerubbabel, saying, not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, saith Yahweh, Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. And you know what? You Edomites, you do not have the spirit of the Lord. But we do. Scriptures tell us that in the book of 1 Corinthians, the second chapter and the last verse. It says, For who hath known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Hamashiach. Alright? The Lord gave us... How he does think, we think like him. Should we spread? You the minds, you have no succor. And all you jakes who join unto them, you have no succor either, no help. And when you join unto them to try and feed off uh, the things that them have. But we we don't really respect them things. So what them have is tangible things. And them fellows, if we the might, them going and come with a different way very soon and get you people on our way. This is the book of Luke 16 and 19. Um, it says there was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple and fine linen and fed sumptuously every day. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus which was laid at his gate full of sores and desiring to be fed from with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Because that is all you jigs just be desiring. To be fed with the bread that fall from the rich man's table. See, we have a different desire. Our desire is rulership. Rulership far-fetched to some earlier. But it's not far-fetched to us. Because we believe in the Lord. And He will make us the rule. We believe Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai will make us rule. So rulership is all your fear. Right? 
But we do we embrace rulership because the Lord promised rulership. And we will be ruling in the in the kingdom on that righteous vibration. Alright? But that is what you jakes like. All of you like is to beg or desire that the rich man throw a bone to all you. Now we sovereign people. Right? We sovereign people. Rich man can't throw no bone to me. We supposed to be the ones that throw the bone for the rich. Who, who's saying the rich right now? As the scripture says, Lord take it down one and set it up another. Eh? That's what the Lord is doing. Eh? Take down one, but have one more. Take down one, put up our next one. And the Lord will take down these Edomites. And and we could just say in due time you will set over it one that is profitable. Because these Edomites are not profitable. Alright? And then we know you're coming with the C hip. The C hip. The the C hip. Alright? We know you're coming with the C hip. All the infrastructure done in place for the sea hip. But we don't fray them thing. You have to you have to be bold. You have to be bold outside here. Because outside here they want your soul. Alright? So you have to be bold. We don't fray them thing. You could come with your with your sea hip. You could come with all your your um Things we plan to do on us, we will find our way. Right? That is why faith is the key. You see, because the sea hip it 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 near. Because that is the that is the M O T B. Yeah? The sea hip. M O T B is an aqu- uh, M- That is the M O T B. All right. So. Um, I'm going to read it's a lot, yeah? I lost my chain I thought way but you you and your see hip eat them you, go, you could go somewhere that you don't afraid that you don't respect that we have no response to that. You need, you need thing we gonna tell you. We serve in the Lord. They have a Shami have a shy over here. All right, the the Creator heaven and it, and He is the one who created. Um. He He created. Everything that in it. He created the idea of the M O T B. All right. He created our idea. That is his idea. The MOTB is the Lord's idea. The Karagma is the Lord's idea. Alright? He put her in place. So we don't have to free that. Because if the Lord put it in place, he would also put in place who is getting delivered from that said um time to come on the earth. It's obvious. He'll put who who going on escape. And if you do escape, then you then shall you know who am I chosen. Right? Then shall you know who am I chosen when we escape. From the from the clutches of the devil with the see him. Because that is where you had to pass through in order to make it to the top. You had to um, go through that, that time. That our temptation as it tells you in Revelation chapter 15 and um, verse 2 it says and I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire and them that had gotten the victory over the beast and over his image and over his mark and over the number of his name so you see what going on there you know that to, to be on that level you have to overcome the BC image mark and the number he name first. And then you could be on a chariot, you could be with the Lord. 
And then you then you go know I yeah, was a chosen from the start. But as for now, you wouldn't know who is the chosen. The Lord didn't set it up like that. Because if he set it up like if you know you is the chosen, then why why would you push to make it to do the right thing? You know, at the end, you're going to be chosen anyhow. You understand? An angel come to you personally and say, you is the chosen. You could do, you would do anything. So that's why the Lord blocked our cognition from receiving that. Right? Lord block me from receiving that. But we, if we make it out, we did very good through the Holy Spirit. We did excellent. But that, that is that destruction coming and men going and go up into chariots. I am seeing it right now. Right? I am seeing that. Men go and go up in the air and, and, and be in chariots up there. But in order to reach a chariot, we all have to what? Overcome the beast, the image, the mark, and the number in him. Without that, right? Without overcoming that, you making it on a chariot. You ain't going to escape the sea hip. Because the sea hip real. It's real. Right? It's very real. So you had to, as the scripture says, study to show thyself approved unto the most high. A workman had needed not to be ashamed, but rightly dividing the word of truth. Alright? But to you, the mates, that's the hip time. Hey, to the Lord, we will embrace it. And the Lord will pull us through it. First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. Alright? So. I just want to give all praises and all glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Kakodash. No flippin' edified, and until the next time, I say Shalom to the elect, Akiam, and stay strong. Shalom.